Okay, now we're going to take a look at division. Division is actually the opposite of multiplication. So we'll start with a uh, simple division problem. We'll have 6 divided by 3. And we'll take a look at this visually. 6 would represent the number of items that we have. So we have 6 lines and 3 would represent the number of times we would divide it equally by. So, we'll find a way to divide this by 3. And now we can see that we have 3 equal sets. 1, 2, 3. And in order to answer this division problem, we simply have to count the number of lines that we have in one set. 1, 2. So we can see that our answer is 2. Let's take a look at another problem. We'll have 6 divided by 2. And we can see that we still have the same number of lines. But this time, we're going to divide equally by 2. So we'll arrange our lines here. And we have 1, 2 equal sets and we have one, two, three lines in each set. So now let's take a look at the same problem. Six divided by two. And this problem can actually be written two different ways. We have six over two and we know that the answer is 3 and we also have how many times will 2 go into 6 and this is pretty much asking the same question what is 6 divided by 2 and we know that the answer is again 3 but this requires an additional step which is sort of checking your answer so what we're going to do is multiply 3 times 2 equals 6 and then we're going to subtract both of these numbers and we get 0 and we know that we have nothing left over so this is a simple way of looking at division okay now we're going to take a look at a complex division problem so we'll have 138 divided by 3. Now let me remind you that this can also be written as 138 over 3 and 138 divided by 3. So let's take a look at this problem and what it's asking is 3 times what number will give me 138? Now we don't know that on top of our head so we're going to have to start small and look at the first digit. And we can ask 3 times what number will give me 1. But 1 is actually a very small number and there is no number that I can multiply by 3 to give me 1. So the next step is to look at the two digits and we can ask the same question. 3 times what number will give me 13? Now, let me give you a hint. You don't exactly have to have the exact result of 13. You can actually have just a number that's close to 13 and some a number that doesn't go over. So our perfect fit is actually 4. We'll write it on top of 3. And we'll multiply 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. And then subtract 13 and 12 and we get 1. Now our next step is to bring down the 8. So now we can work with the number 18 and we'll ask the same question. 3 times what number gives me 18? Now fortunately with this we can actually get an exact result of 18 and that number is 6. Uh, so we'll write the 6 on top of the 8 
and we'll multiply 6 times 3 is 18 and we are left with the remainder 0 so our overall answer is 46 now because division is the opposite of multiplication we can actually check our answer by multiplying 46 and 3 together 6 times 3 is 18 carry the 1 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13 and as you can see our numbers match up so this is how you do complex division.